Afterburner is a 1987 combat flight simulator arcade game by Sega 2AM. It is one of the first games designed by Yu Suzuki. The player flew an F-14 using a specialized joystick, and the game spawned several sequels. Gameplay The game allows the player to control a F-14 Tomcat jet, which must destroy a series of enemy jets throughout 18 stages. At the start of the game, the player takes off from an aircraft carrier called the Sega Enterprise, which shares a similar name to the one used in the 1986 film Top Gun. The jet itself employs a machine gun and a limited set of missiles. These weapons are replenished by another aircraft after beating a few stages. The aircraft cannon and missile buttons are all controlled from an integrated flight stick. The game itself was released in two variations, a standard upright cabinet and a rotating cockpit version. In the cockpit version, the seat rotated horizontally, and the cockpit rotated vertically. The rotating cockpit version also featured two speakers inside the cockpit at head level, which produced excellent stereo sound that significantly added to the gameplay experience. Both cabinets contained a grey monitor frame with flashing lights at the top that indicated an enemy's lock on your craft. Reception Computer Gaming World called Afterburner on the console, the first game that uses Sega's new 4MB technology and the enhanced graphic capabilities. This added memory provides is abundantly obvious. Its sighted aircraft depicted in remarkable detail, spectacular scenery, and excellent explosions. A later review on the computer was much more critical, giving the game one star out of five and stating that it was inferior to the arcade version. Music from the soundtrack to the arcade version was included on the Your Sinclair cover tape, Legacy. Sequels and related games after Burner was followed by After Burner 2, which was released on the same year. Some consider this game to be more of a revision of its predecessor, rather than an entirely new game, a practice later repeated by Sega for Galaxy Force and Galaxy Force 2. Although the Afterburner brand was long dormant, Sega created a number of aerial combat games centered on the F-14 Tomcat with many similar features which are frequently regarded as part of the series. These include G-Lock, Air Battle and its sequel Strike Fighter. Later games associated with the series include Sky Target and Sega Strike Fighter. In 2006, Sega released a new sequel on Sega Lindbergh Hardware, Afterburner Climax, the first arcade game to bear the brand since Afterburner 2. Ports to other game systems The game was ported to numerous consoles and computer systems such as the Amiga, DOS-based PCs, Amstrad CPC, Atari Street, Sharp X68000, FM Towns, Commodore 64, Sega Master System, PC Engine, Sega Saturn, PC, MSX, ZX Spectrum, and Game Boy Advance in an arcade 4-pack named Sega Arcade Gallery. An enhanced 3D version of Afterburner 2 was placed on the Nintendo eShop on January 15, 2015 for the Nintendo 3DS handheld console. A port of Afterburner to the 32X was done by Rutubo Games, and was known as Afterburner Complete in Japan and Europe. An unlicensed NES port of the game developed by Tengen also exists. Afterburner Climax was later ported to Xbox Live Arcade and PSN. It was followed by the spin-off Afterburner, Black Falcon for the PSP in 2007. Reviewing the 32X version, GamePro commented that the graphics, sound, and gameplay are all great, but that's the only difference between it and the Genesis version of Afterburner 2 are some minor graphical and audio enhancements making it only worthwhile to gamers who have never played an Afterburner game before. Appearances in other games Afterburner is a stage hazard in the final stage of Mad World. 
shown as a replica jet spewing flames that immediately incinerate any enemy thrown into them. The music from Afterburner appears in a remix in Chapter 8, entitled Route 666, of Bayonetta. A level based on Afterburner appears in the 2012 racing game of Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. The F-14 Tomcat also appears as the air vehicle for the unlockable character, Ages. The song of Afterburner 2 appears in the 2010 rhythm game, Hatsune Miku. Project Diva Arcade is a playable level sung by the character Mako.